Well, the actual reason why eat less, move more is not great advice is because it's too simplistic, but it is actually super sound advice. You just eat less and you move more. The problem is how do you move and what do you eat less of? Well, here's the best weight loss health advice I can give to almost anybody out there. Drink more water. You should be taking in about a half ounce to an ounce of fluid per pound of body mass in a given day. We highly suggest that people get about a half ounce of fluid per pound of body mass by midday and then try to fill in the rest as the day goes on. That way they can also get good sleep because that way they're not waking up and go to the bathroom all night. And good sleep is very important. So is stress relief. You should have about a half hour dedicated just stress relief and about a half hour dedicated to what's called sleep hygiene. Getting ready to go to sleep, making sure the pillows are, are comfortable, making sure you... Uh, feel good and relaxed and go to sleep. As for what you eat, this is a very simplistic way for everybody to start getting a little healthier. Don't eat processed food. Don't eat ultra-processed carbohydrates especially. Stay away from ultra-processed carbohydrates, bread, pasta, those sorts of things, and treat sugar, processed sugar, with the same care as you would alcohol. As if it was a harmful, not good for you, has no real benefit besides pleasure, substance, and can be addictive as it can be. And then for activity, what you should try to do is, in fact, try to do just 30 minutes a day of activity that you like to do. Go for a nice walk, listen to a podcast, listen to some angry bald dude rant on his podcast called Alan Roberts Uncensored. You could go for a nice swim. Low impact, intense activity, low impact and low intensity activity is good for people to do on a systemic, consistent basis. Now, back to the food. What I do highly suggest is that you focus much more on protein first thing in the day. It keeps you satiated longer during the day. So have your first meal, if you're going to eat three meals a day, have that be complete protein, healthy fats, some eggs, steak and eggs, um, a piece of chicken, a piece of pork, something like that. For your second meal of the day, try to have it be protein and non-starchy vegetables. So broccoli, green beans, peas, those sorts of things. And then your, for your final meal, you could have a little bit more protein, some more vegetables, maybe some spinach, something like that. And then some starchy carbohydrates, maybe some potatoes. If you want something sweet at the end of the day, make sure it is also taken at the end of the day, more towards the towards uh, when you're going to go to bed. That way, if you do give yourself sugar cravings from ingesting something that has a high glycemic index, that you are then going to be asleep for those cravings and make sure you start the day off again with high protein, healthy fat only. That way you're trying to minimize your hunger in the course of the day. So while yes... Eat less, move more is actually too simplistic. It is sound advice. And this was just some quick advice in order to try to help a bunch of people out as quickly as possible. Now, whether people take it because uh, they're addicted to the sugars and the carbs and all like that, that's a different story. But if you can't just eat veggies and proteins, you should ask yourself why.